Hello Palo Alto. Today is Friday, September 25th, 2020, and In Focus starts right now. Embarcadero Road. Walk side is on the cross. Welcome to In Focus. I'm Lulu Gaither. Let's get started with today's show. With schools all around the nation being held virtually, many teachers have been trying to adapt to teaching in a whole new environment. In Focus reporter Ben Papp talked with Palo Alto teachers to see how their lesson plans have changed. Welcome back, Pally. You want to be back in swing, but not like ever before. Distance learning has made the return of the previous semester, forcing teachers to adapt to an entirely new teaching environment with no one present. We went and collected some of their thoughts to get an idea of their often overlooked struggles and how they're planning through to deal with them this year. After only a couple weeks in so far, changes have become very apparent, for better and for worse. Everything that I need to do takes so much longer. Just for example, you guys turned in those quizzes, right? And normally I could walk around and check your work on a problem like that, the one problem, in 15 minutes in a classroom. Whereas I think it took me two hours a class to go through those quizzes and I wanted to teach from the classroom because it just just gives me uh, a feeling that I'm teaching. And so I, uh, I was a little bit worried about how am I going to interact with kids who are on my screen instead of in person. So the first week was just weird. Um, that said, there are some, there's some positives to it, right? Like um, I'm definitely developing some stuff in my curriculum that I've kind of wanted to do for years, but never have time and now I'm forced to. Um, and so it'll be nice to have that going forward. Um, I'm also finding different ways to connect with students and different ways to do things. So it does keep my brain a little more agile, I guess, um, and that I've got to be thinking um, a little differently. Um, but it, it's, definitely, it's, it's definitely exhausting on a whole new level. One of the biggest changes this year noted by all three teachers was the lack of connection between themselves and the students. I miss seeing you all in person, and I, and I do wonder in the back of my head, like, am I ever going to meet you all in person? I, and I don't know if I am, right? Um, and so in some regards, I feel way disconnected. I've always mostly enjoyed getting to know the students and have always felt like that was what I enjoyed most about teaching was my interaction and getting to know the kids. And it's extremely difficult via Zoom. But then in some regards, um, you know, I have put more of an emphasis on reading through uh, more thoroughly through the student introduction questions. Um, the video intros were fantastically helpful for me. And, you know, I, I've never had a desire to um, peek into students like, you know, home life. But there is something to be said about like, I see your workspaces. So I can't say for sure that, um, my connection with students is worse right now, but it's definitely different. Thankfully, they've had the summer to prepare for this year. And besides the 12 hour district mandated training course and last year, has spent extensive time planning on the route to make the best of the current situation. It's like a complete course on Schoology they had posted. We had like complete assignments. It was way more than 10 plus hours. It was way more than that. Now what that course did was it taught us uh, the basic use, uh, use of Zoom, how to enhance Zoom experience by changing your camera or your audio. I spent so many hours um, just, one, setting up the technology. Like, how is it going to work to be able to see the kids? Again, I don't know. How is it going to work for me to get to know the kids, which I still can't figure out. Unfortunately, the situation doesn't look to be changing anytime soon, but improvements are coming in the near future. Schedule changes regarding Mondays are already underway, and the district finally opened up the teachers and staff comments. For now, continue to work hard and persevere through these trying times. For In Focus, I'm Benjamin Papp. Well, that does it for today's show. Be sure to check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch previous content, follow us on Instagram to engage with our content, and Twitter for updates and breaking news. Until next time, I'm Lulu Gaither, and this has been In Focus.